So this is paper one, multiple choice question from uh, May, June 2015. The changes that occur when a substance change this state are shown. A solid is, you have to identify which processes W, X, Y, or Z is occurring. A solid, a butter melts. So what is the change when a butter melt means the solid is turning into a liquid. So we change a solid because these are the half arrows. So a solid turning into a liquid that is shown by W. That's why we say it is W. Water condenses on the surface. So if the condensation occur, it means a gas is turning into a liquid. So which arrow is showing a gas turned to a liquid? So a gas turned to a liquid is shown by Y. So that is Y. Volume of a liquid ethanol in open beaker reduces. It means evaporation had happened. So what is the meaning of evaporation? Liquid turned into a gas. So when liquid turned to a gas, you can say that change is X. And ice formed inside the freezer. So ice form inside the freezer, a liquid is turning into a solid. So liquid turned into a solid that is arrow pointed by Z. So it is W, X, Y, and Z. That's why B is the right answer. So a student uses the apparatus to measure the volume of carbon dioxide when different masses, so how to get the mass by a balance, are added to 25 cm cube of hydro. How to know 25 cm cube? So means you have to measure its volume and how to measure a volume of a liquid by measuring cylinder, burit or pipit. So but pipit and burits are not given. So we need a measuring cylinder as a and a balance to measure the mass as well as the volume of liquid. Question three. Atom contain electron, neutron and proton. What is the definition of nucleon number? The nucleon number is the sum of neutron and proton inside the nucleus. That's why C is the right answer. Question four, the diagram shows atomic structure of element. How to identify the element? You can identify the element from proton number. How many protons are there? One, two, three, and four. So this element is having four proton. So in a periodic table, we'll check an element which is having four protons. So when you check the element with a four proton, that is beryllium. So directly because the proton number is the identity of the element. So in this case, the beryllium is the right answer. In question five, which statement comparing the properties of electron, neutron and proton are correct. Neutron and proton both are heavier, both have more mass. That's true, right? And only electron and neutron are charged. That's wrong. Electron and proton are charged and neutron is the neutral. That's why B is the right answer. Question six. Rescuers are drilling through a fallen rock in order to rescue some men trapped in a cave. The drill needs lubricating time to time. Like we have to reduce the friction so we do have to lubricate. The following statements were made about the material used in a drill tip and the lubricant. Diamond are used for a drill tip. At is does not. It's not about conducting electricity. The diamond was used because it is a hard. Yeah, that's true. Graphite was used as lubricant, not about conducting electricity because it is soft and flaky. So it reduces the friction. So statement two and four are the right statement. Is it clear? Discussion. 
क्वेश्चन सेवन इन विच कंपाउंड इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयर शेयर मीन्स कोवेलेंट एंड कोवेलेंट इज ऑलवेज बिटवीन द नॉन मेटल वेन नॉन मेटल कंबाइन विद अनदर नॉन मेटल दे विल रिजल्ट इन अ कोवेलेंट मीथेन मीन्स सी एच फोर कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन बोथ आर नॉन मेटल सो दे विल हैव अ कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड लेड ब्रोमाइड लेड इज अ मेटल ब्रोमीन इज अ नॉन मेटल सो दे विल हैव आयोनिक Sodium chloride, sodium is a metal, and chlorine is a non-metal. They will have ionic. So only one methane is the right answer. Question eight. What is the relative formula mass or mass of calcium carbonate? so calcium carbonate is cacl3 what is the mass of calcium using a periodic table it is 40 mass of carbon is 12 and mass of oxygen is 16 multiplied by 3 so when we solve 16 into 3 48 plus 12 60 plus 40 that is equals to 100 so copper and hydrogen can be formed during electrolysis at which electrodes copper and hydrogen can be formed during electrolysis because copper is a positive ion hydrogen is also they are not talking about in the same reaction it is formed they are saying copper ions can also form at electrolysis they are not saying about this in the same reaction they are saying copper ion and hydrogen ion both can be or copper and hydrogen can be formed during electrolysis at which electrode they are formed because copper is positive ion so if copper is moved it is always the positive ions are always attracted towards cathode hydrogen is also a positive ion so it will always attracted towards cathode so which position they are attracted they are always attracted towards cathode they are not saying in the same reaction they are saying if these ions are there at which electrode they will be formed so because we know they are positive ions and positive ions are always formed at cathode is it clear this question 